Hey guys, I'm at my local Walmart, and as you know, I'm not doing any videos for a while because I'm just really not leaving the house. Um, I am gonna run inside. I came to see if they could do an oil change, and they can't, but since I'm here, I'm just gonna run through. It looks like they're maintaining the line. We're only so many in and so many out. I've got my gloves, I've got my mask, and I'm gonna take a quick trip through and show you what we have here going on in North Alabama. Now, because I do respect the privacy of others. Okay, that looks like an indoor or an outdoor, I can't tell. But the line is this way. I'm not gonna show actual faces, but the mask wearing is like half and half. So some people are, you know, doing it. I don't know if they don't have them or if they're feeling pretty safe. But the other half, they're wearing them as well as the gloves. All right, it looks like it might take a few minutes to get inside because there's the exit. There's someone here watching and allowing them to go in at a certain time. So one comes out, one goes in. All right, it's gonna be a while. Be back when we get in. Okay, for privacy, I am not going to put this Walmart worker on. There's his hand, wave your hand again so at least I can see I'm talking to somebody for real. Okay, hey, thank you so much. You guys are like our unsung heroes for doing this. You're out, you're braving, you're coming in contact with people every day. Now I notice you're not wearing your mask, but they have provided masks, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you feel pretty safe? Um, yeah, the, the social distancing is pretty safe. Okay, so you're staying six feet back as you wave people in, so it's pretty good when you're out here. Yes, ma'am. Do you ever have to work inside? Yes, ma'am. Uh, when they want me to do like a project or something, like they want me to work on the floor or help out with giving people's breaks or taking a department manager's pictures for like, uh, employee of the month or whatever oh wow employee of the month i bet that's a big deal now <laughs> yes, okay so when you go in there do you put on a little bit more proper from here yeah i do uh they have um gloves that i can't touch anything until i put gloves on and mask on basically oh that's good Maybe i can go in you can go in ma'am oh. now how are our customers here i noticed everybody's abiding by the arrows and the rules are they pretty much being nice playing nice some, some are. Some don't really like the rules, but if we can all actually just do the social distancing, and uh, we, should, we should be fine. Okay. So, uh, like, let's say if, I, if there's a couple that comes in together, I got to let them go one by one. They still get mad at that for some reason. Okay, because it's for however many out, that's how many can go in. One can go in. One okay. can go in. One of you guys can go in. See, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Okay. But then when another one comes out, she can go join her friend in the store. Yes, ma'am. You can go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank and you. you know what? Thank you guys for everything that you do, okay? Thank you, ma'am. All right. I'll wait my turn. Okay, guys. At first glance, this looks like completely normal. Look how well stocked this is. And this is not my neighborhood store. This is just... The Walmart. These guys are working incredibly hard. Look, everything is completely stocked here. Uh, let's hit the areas where maybe most people are buying. I would hope they'd be buying fresh produce, but maybe they're just getting more of that in. We'll see. Let's check out the meat department. Okay, this is a big difference than what I saw from the last time I was out. They do have ground beef. Now, some of it is the Angus sirloin, and of course, you have the cheaper beef down here, and you have the cheaper, cheaper quality beef down here, and two and a quarter pound packs. The bread aisle is completely stocked, even of the cheap 87 cent bread. Look. Okay, I'm gonna check out the pasta aisle because a lot of people, guys, I really hope you can hear me, are talking about they go for pasta, there is no pasta. Okay, people are still buying pasta. One that's easy, it's quick, kids love it, kids are at home. They don't have like the cheaper ones. Okay, I feel so silly. This is why I cannot find the pasta. It's on the other side. Guys, there's plenty of pasta. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh look, you can even still make your own pizza. Well stocked. Okay, I saw a lot of this when people first started buying that the ground turkey was one of the things left. They still have plenty of ground turkey. Again, that's what we eat anyway. Chicken, they're actually keeping in store. Um, drumsticks. Now, normally, yes, these things would be completely stocked and there would be people bringing more out. There would be so much surplus, they'd have to throw some out. 
But you know what? People are actually buying and using them. This is really good. Okay, I'm heading down the soup aisle. People were stocking up on soups like crazy when it first started. Not so much. I'm thinking everybody's pretty much got what they want and need. So there's now a surplus again and a bit of a more variety than there was before. Ah, tons of ramen noodle. I've never seen that much ramen noodle here. Apparently people are doing the ramen noodle. Guys, there is cereal for days. Now the only thing that bothers me personally is that, you know, I coupon this stuff. So the prices, if I had to buy this, would be the sticker shock on some of this stuff. You know, I'm used to paying 80 cents for a box of pop tarts and they're 368 and 358. But I mean, if these are things that you need, they're available for about the same price that they were before. Okay, here's another place that's taken somewhat of a hit and that would be the seasoning aisle. And that would probably be because people are actually cooking at home more than eating out. And the average household has what, salt, pepper, maybe onion, garlic powder, that would be it. So we're seeing a lot more different seasonings that have been actually bought out. Okay, there's the water that everyone was hunting for. It's now in supply, paper towels. Let's check the toilet paper aisle and see what they have going on down here. Okay, we have Kleenex. We've always had Kleenex. People weren't buying those so much. And look guys, paper towels, paper towels, toilet paper. They're pretty much keeping up with the demand. So, if you're a couponer and you're running low, it's not a bad time just to get one to replace the one you're using because it's here. Let's check cleaning supplies. Okay, over in cleaning, one of the first things I noticed that I haven't seen a lot of is please limit your purchase to one item. So far, I haven't really seen any limits, but I do see them here. And something else, look, this palm olive dish liquid is 96 cents and it's antibacterial. I've couponed this and gotten this for free before. And so when we run out of antibacterial soap, I will refill that with these. And I paid maybe 25 cents, if anything, for those. Okay, cleaning supplies are about what we would expect them to be. Um, you have the basic things here, but when it comes down to the real nitty gritty of the Lysol wipes, the Clorox wipes, um, those are definitely gone. They do have the no name brand, the great value sprays. And they have the sprays here. I think people are just looking for the convenience of the wipes now, which you know, of course, you can just make with that Clorox that has 99.9% .9 killing power and water over Viva paper towels. Okay, as for food, they've caught up on keeping eggs in. They are asking people just to get one. But if you get one and you have a large family, 60 eggs, that goes a long, long way. Okay, and if you miss the water over in the water section, they actually have more pallets throughout the store. Okay, and then a quick glance on the way out, all of the alcohol is still sold out. But apparently those that are looking for aloe vera, it is in, wow, that's quite a bit too. Okay guys, I'm about to head out of the store, but I had to stop and show you this. I am so glad that I started CVS couponing when I did because I got the Eucerin lotions for very inexpensive when they were doing those um, spend what, 20 get 10 back or spend 30 get 10 back. I have been washing my hands so much and that Bath and Body Works lotion does not work, but this stuff works. If I had not done that, I would be paying $9.54 for good lotion right now. Okay, so that's it. I am heading out of the store now. I just wanted to show you what our stores look like right now. I don't need anything. 
and this is about as much time as I can spend in the store without having an anxiety attack or something. Like I said, people are half and half, half mask, half not mask. I take it seriously. I have children. I have a mother who has underlying health issues. So I'm just gonna be safe. Rather safe and look silly than sorry, right? All right, guys, be happy, be healthy, be safe. Till next time.